Hello, and meet HMS Foxglove. An Acacia class minesweeping sloop of the Royal Navy. Um, she was launched in 1915 from Barclay Car, Glasgow, and commissioned in 1915. And she eventually serves till 1946. Well, that's her eventual scrapping. She's a minesweeper. That's what the Acacia class are primarily for. She displaces 1,200 tons. She has a length of 250 feet or 76 meters. A at her, narrow, uh, her shortest and at her longest, it's 262 feet 6 inches or 80.1 meters. So it's a, not a very pronounced bow and not a very pronounced stern. Beam is 33 feet, 10 meters, and draft is 12, meter, uh, 12 feet, 3.7 meters. Now, she's designed to carry two 12-pounder guns and two 3-pounder guns. That's two 76mm and two uh, 47mm. But, and I have explained this before, she really doesn't always carry those. In fact, at several points, she seems to be fitted with 4-inch guns and uh, a, a few more free pounders than that. Anyway, uh, during World War I, she was used primarily for minesweeping duties until 1917, and then she gets turned, after two years of minesweeping duties, which was rather sedentary, into a warfighting beast and going out and doing all the war fighting she can. Now, she serves on the China Station during the 1920s. And, for example, on the 3rd of March 1921, she take, she's involved in the attempts to rescue and render assistance to passengers of the SS Hong Mo, uh, grounded on the White Rocks off Lamak Island, Swatow in China. She, in fact, she did this alongside the C-Class cruiser HMS Carlisle and uh, managed to take 221 survivors in total between them, were rescued. She served into World War II. This is why this has gone into four minutes rather than um, two minutes, because, you know, she deserves it. And... She became a loss when she was dive-bombed and damaged off the Isle of Wight by a German aircraft, but remains afloat and is converted into an accommodation ship and base ship, then becomes a harbour guard ship serving at Londonderry in Northern Ireland for the remainder of World War II and is scrapped in 1946. So, one little ship and a whole lot of career. She's a good little ship. She serves on the China Station, as I said. She also does quite a lot of stuff in the Mediterranean. And she has an event for World War I. And whilst her World War II, in terms of active contribution, is cut short rather early, i.e. July 1940, She's packed in a lot already before then. So, definitely value for money and a very good build.